You want me to admit that I have a problem? Fine. I'll admit I have a bit of a problem. In the interest of time, and also the effort of editing this video, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I have a problem. I buy a lot of bags, camera bags, backpack type of things. I'm always looking for the best setup, the most efficient setup to carry exactly what I need and nothing more, like the exact amount of space. Typically when I travel right now in these COVID times, I have a Peak Design 45 liter backpack that I usually pack all of my clothes in with a medium cube and then I use a small packing cube if it's a short trip to put my camera gear in, which is enough to fit in like the charger for the camera, one camera and maybe an extra lens. And then I have to carry an extra bag for the drone. The drone comes, the DJI Maverick, Mavic 2, it comes with its own bag. It's very compact, it's small, it's a nice bag, but it comes with its own thing and I usually have to carry the two bags. In fact, on longer trips, I end up carrying three bags because I use a small Peak Design packing cube for like underwear and socks, and then the camera stuff goes in a Peak Design 10 liter bag, which we're gonna get to in a second. So recently on the internet, I saw several YouTube creators flaunting this new PGY Tech bag. This is part of their One Go series. They have a backpack and then they have these three sling bags. There's three of them. This is the 10 liter. There's like a six liter and then there's like a, and then there's like a three liter, those pouches that you used to keep around your waist. I think you can like cinch it around your waist or you can use it as like a three liter sling bag. I didn't get the six or the three. I got this 10 because they put out a bunch of videos and a couple of creators mentioned that like you can fit a drone, the controller, the controller's batteries, a camera and the camera batteries and you can fit all these things in like one 10 liter bag and i was like oh yeah sign me up for that let me talk about the things that i like about this bag this bag has more of a vertical base compared to the peak design 10 liter all right and this is the version one of the peak design 10 liter just so we're being clear because there's a version two that's a little bit more compact so this one's wide and short. This one's a little bit more narrow and tall. The thing that I really like about this PGY Tech Bag, again, the verticality is what I thought would allow a drone and the controller and the batteries and two cam a camera and another lens. Straight up. You can fit a drone in here. You can fit a camera in here. You can fit the controller in here. You could fit the batteries because you need the batteries for the drone. And you can fit some extra batteries for your camera. You can fit all of that in this bag. You're not getting another lens in here. And uh, I saw some promotional materials where maybe in this like section right here, you could put a small, um, like a small little tripod to fit in here, like a handheld. Um, but you're gonna need that for cables. But there is one cool thing in here. There's this little hard shell clam shell case here and you could put like sunglasses or something in here and it's a little bit more protective i wish peak design had this it's got these nice little magnets right here uh they kind of and they're they flip right right and green so you can kind of say oh hey so you can say hey like uh my battery's charged or the battery's not charged red or i have a full sd card so you have four little slots up here four little pockets to put batteries and sd cards and it's exactly the same with Peak Design. Peak Design has exactly the same spot, but they don't have this nice little clam shell case. And this is nice. This is good design right here. And then the other nice thing about this particular bag, it has a separate pocket for a small laptop in the back, or like a 13-inch like laptop, or like a big tablet or a smaller tablet. You can fit that back here. Peak Design has a space for that too, but it's inside the main pocket. So I like that this is separated, but the reality is if you're carrying a drone, the controller, a camera, you're not getting another lens in there. That's the sadness here. If, if it could fit the extra lens, I would be keeping this bag. So spoiler alert, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna keep this bag. There are straps here that you can attach at the bottom for, um, for a tripod. So like it does fit the Peak Design tripod, tripod pretty nicely at the bottom. The other nice thing about this one, uh, we're talking about pockets, it's got a place to put a water bottle on both sides. 
So there's an extra pocket on the sides. Peak Design does not have that, but I will explain there is a trade-off on the Peak Design 10 liter that makes sense too. I was going to go through the aggravation of like loading up the bags, but take my word for it, right? There really is only three slots. And if you see in here, like the idea is that you can take these, oh, I flipped them. You can reverse these and kind of create a shelf in the middle. And that's where you would put the controller for the drone. So that kind of creates a little extra shelf here. So you put like drone in this, drone in this spot, camera in this spot, lens down, and then like your batteries underneath here, and then you fold this down, and that's where you would put the controller. That's the, the plan, that's the setup, and then you put the batteries up here, and like I said, if you have a laptop, but realistically, you need a place to put cables. The drone has a brick, it has the three bay charger for the, the Mavic 2, and then it's got two cables, it's got the plug, and then it's got the USB cable, so that's four pieces, and there's another spot in here, right here, there's another, there's another pocket, that you can put some stuff, but you still don't have enough space. And then heaven forbid you want an ND filter or something like that. Like that's kind of, that's kind of the optimum spot for the ND filter is where you put the laptop, honestly. I'm gonna load just the, ca the camera and, and a lens just so you see. As I mentioned, I have, I have problems, All right? So this is, this is the Peak Design small camera pouch, the small, the small protective camera pouch. This is where I normally keep this camera when I'm not using it. Sony A7C. I've had the, uh, the Tamron 17 to 28 lens. And then I have this 28 to 200 zoom lens, right? This is the one that's giving me some problems. Theoretically, I could, I should just put the 28 to 200 on the camera and like maybe not bring an extra lens, but sometimes you need to go wide. So you see extra lens, camera, and then this extra space right here, even if you pull the shelf down, like you need a microphone. So. I have, I have a shotgun mic, and then I have this wireless mic system that I recently bought. So like that goes in that spot, and that's, that's pretty much it. When you fill it up with the battery charger, uh, two batteries, a battery charger, you need like a tool for the tripod, that's it. Like you don't, you're done. Comparatively speaking, it's effectively equal with the Peak Design 10 liter sling. It's pretty much the same. I'll, I'll get into one specific nuance, but here's, here's where it's, it's it, this bag lost me. This zipper, the zippering process here, it sticks. It does not go down. And like, I noticed a couple of other people commenting on it and they kind of said, well, it's because it's waterproof. And like, that's what you get. Uh, here's the thing. Look, I'm still, I'm still struggling with this damn zipper. The zipper is awful. I'm sorry. I really want to like this bag. The zipper because of the way the zipper folds, it's like this S shape. It, it's, it's really like, this is the smoothest I've actually, it's actually been for the one side. I was like, oh, this thing's going to make a liar out of me. It's, it's stuck. It's really, really rough to get this zipper open. And like, who, who wants to deal with that? That's the whole point of a camera bag. So you can get in and out of the, the bag easily, especially a sling bag. And this thing is like not super slingy either. I, I will say that compared to the Peak Design strap, this strap is a little, it's lacking. It's not as comfortable. Again, I don't want to be super critical of the bag. I really do like the design in general, but the zipper, it's no bueno. So let's compare to the Peak Design bag. Again, it's a little bit wider. Uh, the wideness makes it, when you're slinging it across your back, it makes it a little nicer in, in my opinion it, it just hangs better like i said comparatively while you don't have the nice hard shell clam case you do have uh basically the same setup right and uh instead of the the nice magnets and by the way the trick is with those magnets you can use them because they're coin sized so you can use them to tighten screws for mounting plates except for the peak design ones because it's a hex key and you need a tool which is one of my slots. I, I keep a tool to a hex tool in there, like a, like a Swiss army hex tool for that kind of stuff. So that's in there. I have a battery. I have like some cleaning stuff. I'm big on cleaning. I'm very anal retentive and I like to clean my lenses a lot. Cleaning supplies. So that's pretty much in the top space. And like I said, you can fit exactly the same amount in the PGY tech bag. So like, there's no win there. The PGY tech has a separate 
has a, the PGY Tech has a separate pouch for a laptop. This is just in the back of this bag. So PGY Tech definitely wins there. That's a better spot. But you're not, if you're bringing camera equipment and again, an extra lens or whatever, you're not getting a laptop in here. If you want an ND filter, you're not going to be able to fit all this stuff in this bag. None of these bags can fit at all. You got to go bigger. I already kept my extra microphone in here. It's already in here. Because I've been packing and repacking to see like what fits the best. And like I said, they're very much the same. I would have thought about keeping the bag if it wasn't for the zipper, but look how smooth. Ah, look, you can actually use the zipper and you don't have to fight the stupid bag and look like an idiot if you're out in public and you're trying to get your camera bag open and you can't. Bag opens. Peak Design has a pouch in the front and it does extend if you put stuff in here so it does get a little misshapen. The, the, the other one holds the, the PGY Tech holds its shape a little bit better. But you can fit the same stuff in here, right? So, and like, I do have this packed. I have, there's like two, there, there's like a divider in the middle. So there are two pockets areas. There's no like little sub pockets or little pouches in here. And I have, I have USB-C cables in here. I have a charger or I have a, a, a spare battery pack in case I need to charge on the fly. Lens cleaner, another lens cleaner. Like I said, I'm really uptight about having stuff to clean my lenses and if there's dust in there. This is the Peak Design wrist sling, right? So it just goes across your wrist and you can just kind of use that to secure your camera. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna drop my camera. So I like this. And this is actually gonna tie into another piece of feedback that I'm gonna give about the bags. And then I have a USB-C. Is this a C and a C? This is a C and an A brick uh, to keep in there to charge, charge my equipment. So the main camera bay, it's exactly the same. You, you, you really have enough for, for three compartments and then like a shelf that you can fold down and, and subdivide. So, you know, again, a lens, a camera, and then one extra that you can maybe fold down. So maybe if you wanted to put like a GoPro and then like the batteries up top, like you can split the shelf. That, that's it. Peak Design has the same thing. You have strap here, over here, that you can put your tripod on. Um, but here, here's the difference where, where the PGY tech had drink pouch holders, these have built in slots to put the capture clip. And the reason why this is nice as a general space saver is if you want a strap for your camera, right? Not the little, not the sling, the, like a peak design strap. I'll, I'll get it in a second. I'll show you how big it is. It takes up so much space in your bag. It's going to take a full slot. So if you have the capture clip and then the clip at the bottom of the camera and you can use this to put the camera on when you're using the camera and taking your shots, that saves space in my opinion. Now I do miss not having a water bottle pouch. And sometimes when I connect the water bottle to the bottom and I, that's where I, I do put the water bottle when I use it, uh, it slides off a lot. So I usually have to figure out a way to secure it. So having a water bottle, dedicated water bottle pouch would have been is nice and that is a net benefit to the other design but again the zipper i was packing everything up and then i forgot i said that i would show you like the peak design the strap so this strap would definitely fill out a whole portion of like one of those sections and uh it's 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 voluminous it is, i said that right see like that's that's a lot of strap right here so if you want to carry a strap with you and i think that you would need a strap at least i think i, I i'm very pro strap if I don't have the Peak Design clip system where you could just snap it in, you kind of need a strap. And uh, this would take up a lot of space in your bag. So that's one win for the Peak Design system because you don't have to put it on your strap. There is a dedicated piece of fabric to put the locking system on. And that is, uh, that's a win. That's a win. So there's a little net benefit there. Like I said, the uh, it's a trade-off because you don't get a water pouch section, but you get the clip section. So yeah, back to, back to the video because I'm going to insert this in, in the middle of the video. The zipper's unforgivable. I, I can't get past it. And that's the only reason why I'm really making this video. I really want to like that bag. I really do. I like the design. I like the vertical element to it, but I can't get past the zipper. My wife thinks this bag looks better, by the way, the Peak Design. She likes the color. She likes the look of it. She says this is a nicer looking bag, but I actually think I actually think the PGY Tech bag looks better. They have a Navy version of it, by the way. And like, I like I couldn't buy the Navy version. 
uh, I wasn't available. I bought this because I'm going on a trip and I wanted to be able to just put the drone and all the stuff in the one bag. But I, I would have preferred the Navy. The Navy does look nicer. It's classier looking. I think this is a nice bag though. I think it's a handsome bag. The zipper, I, I don't want to fight with the zipper when I'm trying to get a camera out. I already feel like I look foolish when I take pictures out in public and me struggling with a camera bag. It's just not going to happen. So I suspect that they'll probably come out with another version with smoother, uh, with smoother zippers and better zippers and like, you know, so this is the version one. This thing just came out. Some, in case someone looks at this video like two years from now, they're like, oh no, that doesn't have any problem with the zippers. I can guarantee you they'll probably improve the zippers, but the zippers on this particular bag in its first iteration, they're terrible and uh, makes the bag unusable to me, but it is a very, very handsome bag. Uh, so if anybody does have one, you're going to look good walking around with it. I'm sticking with the Peak Design. I'm getting rid of the PGY Tech. That's going back. There is one other nice feature about the PGY Tech, even though, again, the zipper is a deal breaker. You can take the foldable uh, origami elements in the middle out, and the whole bag collapses flat. So you can pack that in another bag. So if you just want to carry one bag with you when you're going on a trip and then just take it out when you're ready to do your camera stuff, that can happen. So that's also a nice aspect of the design. But again, zipper. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm done. Thank you for watching this video, and I will be back with another video shortly.